Because it's my world, bitch! Everybody is the same, where the hell's your fucking brain? The reason why we all complain is cause all we want is some change But then we said fuck it, we were so estranged So you think that self-loathing is better than being happy? Nah. Except the fuck away, I'm feeling a little bit snappy yeah. Just look at my face, you're a close case Motherfuckers laughing at you cause they think first in the race, bitch So while you're being a clown, just know that I'm with the most If you wanna be a sheep, just know that I am the ghost So while you're being a clown, just know that I'm with the most If you wanna be a sheep, just know that I am the ghost I am the ghost! I am the ghost! I am the ghost! Take a look, there is no escape in your system and it can't ever attack you! I am the Better make a fucking excuse Claiming that you know people But they don't know you You know you're just a disguise Your life is all just a shame This is an effort and I So stay in your fucking lane You are the ones that they created You think all you see is deteriorated False claims, false things I'm right, no say It's incomplete Only you never see So while you're being a clown Just know that I'm with the most If you wanna be a sheep Just know that I am the ghost So while you're being a clown Just know that I'm with the most If you wanna be a sheep Just know that I am the ghost I am the ghost! I am the ghost! I am the ghost! Take a look, there is no escape in your system and it can't ever attack you! I am the ghost! Control me now But you don't own shit You don't own shit Finally a stream, and not a very long stream tonight, because admittedly this isn't going to be a speed, well this isn't going to be like a long topic. Uh, one second, let me turn the camera on. Alright, two reasons this one, won't, this one it's not going to be a long stream. One, we're just covering the base topic here, we're not really getting a little too deep past that other than some uh, channel life updates that we'll get into hey Bella Frost, how we doing uh, also rainbow that sounds fucking awesome with him like evidence eh, evanescence opening for him that's pretty cool so yeah pretty much three reasons why it's gonna be a short stream tonight one we're just kind of covering the topic of what's going on here what you see uh two i'm mildly high right now so before the stream wraps up i might be too high to actually finish it so you know and three, we're gonna get some uh, some some updates for the channel out of the way. Um, one second, though, I'm gonna get some soda. I'm doing pretty well too. <clears throat> so again, small stream. I also had to delay it because uh, last night I was going to do it, then something came up, so I wasn't really as prepared as I am now. And then uh, I saw Claw was streaming, which I'm like, ah, fuck. So I kind of pushed it back a couple hours, gives me some time also to kind of wrap some shit around things here. But, 
Real quick, we're gonna do a couple channel updates before we uh, before we get into the topic. Let people pile in, uh, as it were. Again, yeah, I have great timing. I have great timing. Um, <laughs> so uh, recently, some of you guys may or may not have um, may or may not have known, but I've currently got access to a uh, a, a PlayStation Five. So um, also, God damn it, ignore that. Hold on, let me let me let me adjust my um, camera thing here. You can see my fucking corner. That's that's good as we're gonna get. That's a PS5 too. Holy shit! Yeah, I, I got real lucky and got a hold of one. But um, I'm gonna be streaming uh, over on Twitch probably Friday or Saturday of the Demon Souls remake. Uh, check, check, keep an eye on my social media accounts for that. You'll, you'll see it there if you're looking. Um, <clears throat> ignore that. Uh, the second one is I'm gonna try to do a lot more of these shorter, smaller streams than doing like a long blowout one. If that makes sense. Uh, also, more Twitch stuff is going to be happening, including um, <laughs> a mock game show thing. Um, so yes, follow me on Twitch. It's down below in the description, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now we're gonna get into the topic. Of the stream here if I can make sure we got this okay so uh, last year at the beginning of last year uh, there was a talk of another merger if you have kept up with anything related to any of Hollywood recently or ooh, a game show exactly yes I'm, I'm just gonna say it as in I'm not gonna tell you what's going on about it until that happens but um, so yeah among many mergers, including um, last year with Microsoft and uh, Bethesda, this year Microsoft and uh, Activision Blizzard King, among many different mergers was HBO Max and Discovery. Well, Warner Media and Discovery. Uh, fair, huh? Exactly. So, what, you know, with all the other mergers you see, including uh, in... The, probably the biggest merger I think everyone can think of, at least currently in any form of media, was the Fox-Disney merger, which basically Disney did to own all the Marvel rights because there was no way in hell a new company who came in and took over Fox was going to give Disney the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four. And out of it, they also got a whole bunch of other shit that they probably honestly don't care about as much as Fantastic Four and X-Men. Uh, <laughs> but recently, Discovery, who is one of the biggest conglomerates, I mean, I'm not even shitting you, they currently own, let me make sure I get this right, because I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to at least, um, God, where does, where does fucking thing go? It was Avalov. Zaslov. David Zaslov. So, uh, well, the, um, oh, we're going to talk about the man, David Zaslav, but let's talk about what he owned before uh, he was the CEO of the merger between Warner Media. Wasn't where Discovery was that big. Oh, it's fucking crazy. So, uh, Discovery Communications, uh, Zaslav, which is the man we're going to be talking about, it's a big part of his story. Uh, he became the CEO in 2006, and because of that, he oversaw the launch of Destination America, The Hub, Oprah Winfrey Network, Investigation Discovery, and the company's 2018 acquisition of Scripps Network Interactive, which Scripps was fucking huge. The Scripps was its own different thing, been around since the 90s, including The Cooking Channel, DIY Network, Food Network, HGTV, basically a ton of different channels that you kind of weirdly always thought was Discovery-owned, or at least like related to TLC. Like, if you would have told me HGTV and TLC were the same company decades before they were in the same company, I would have said, yeah, no, that makes sense. No shit. But yeah, no, they owned, a, and a travel channel, but they owned a ton of different things on scripts alone that became a part of the overarching Discovery Communications. Warner, of course, nothing to cough at either. Warner has been around too fucking long, it seems. But, obviously, you know, you hear this guy's track record, it's like, okay, you know, Discovery's fucking huge. I 
watched a ton of how it's made alone. I, I think I could probably say I've invested somebody's kid through college by the amount of that fucking show I've watched. But where it starts is um, an interesting report that would come out. Uh, if I could get this going here. Shit, I thought I had that pulled up. Hey, it wouldn't be one of my streams if I didn't fuck something up horribly. Hang on here. I remember this person talking about it in the things. Hang on here. Mm, I just had it earlier. I just fucking had it. So I... Ignore that. Ignore that. Here we go. I had, to, I had to boomer something up during this fucking stream. So, during the earnings call, after the um, most recent earnings call on August 4th, which was after the Discord, Discover and Warner Discovery and Warner Brothers kind of collaboration happened. Uh, as you can see here, uh, let's see. We're going we're gonna to scroll ahead here. If I can try to find this here. Sure. Okay. So, it started to get a little interesting when um, <laughs> when this one popped up here. Take a shot for every time I fuck a pet. Oh, you God, you'd be, you'd probably die. So, so of course, this is how um, Zaslav and the Discovery team viewed HBO as they decided to take over HBO. Uh, unique and complimentary was the slide here, where HBO Mask has a well, HBO. HBO Max is a male skew with scripted content, uh, more of a lean-in kind of viewing, where it's like, oh, you're, uh, you're, you're paying attention. Uh, appointment viewing and home of fandoms. Uh, Discovery Plus is female skewed with unscripted content, more of a lean-back variety of content. Uh, comfort viewing and home of genredoms. Which, guys, can you tell me what a genredom is? I, I don't know personally. Uh, but we'll, we'll just continue. You start to realize why this is a little weird as we keep going. Uh, so Global Powerhouse, obviously, they own HBO, Discovery, CNN, which, funny enough, um, Zaslav was behind the CNN Plus debacle, if you remember what CNN Plus was. Um, <laughs> here's a hint. I've literally never heard of genre dom before. Is that a thing? It's not really a thing. It makes sense why they call it that. Like, it makes sense when you look at, like, okay, you know, Shark Week, you know, Night Day Fiance, these are genres of content that makes sense, but it's like, eh. So, yeah, on top of all these brands, if you look at franchises, of course, you got your DC, you got your, what's on a chime block today? Uh, a short stream about how um, Discovery is trying to seemingly kill... Uh, at least a lot of the goodwill the HBO Max has earned. Uh, and of course, this is mostly a streaming service thing. Um, where it's like, you know. If you look here, like, their franchise they're propping up is DC and then Discovery Shark Week, Game of Thrones, which after that last season, that's the one you want to prop up? Really? <laughs> um, 90 Day Fiance Universe, which is like, all 40 shows they have like I'm not even shitting you I, I think you need a fucking flow chart to keep up with what all I'm, I'm actually going to quickly look and see um, 8 main seasons There's 17 different um, 90 Day Fiance series. There's currently 17 different ongoing series within the concept uh, of a franchise of 90 Day Fiance. Which here's a pro tip, people: if you ever feel uh, you ever feel worried that you'll never be successful at something, create something like 90 Day Fiance. You'll be successful at everything forever. Uh, and Harry Potter, which I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, and then iconic series and characters Friends, Fixer Upper, Welcome Home I've never heard of it uh, Big Bang Theory uh, 
Property Brothers, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and Sex in the City, which, okay. I mean, you know, all, all that. But that doesn't matter as much, but I just thought it was funny to kind of talk about um, Bazinga. And then one more thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about before I get into the actual serious shit of what's going on here, because they, they're talking about how they want to create one product, and that product is... Uh, if I can find it. Move that here. Bazinga. They really okay. I may have I may have missed that aspect. Um. Okay. So this is where shit gets a little more interesting here. We're just gonna ignore that middle part of what I couldn't find. Um. So they decided to cancel three different films uh, publicly. Which was uh, Batgirl, Wonder Twins, and Scoob. Uh, I never watched Big Bang Theory, so my friend put it on his background noise. And <laughs> watched several episodes in a row. My conclusion was whoever wrote this show hates smart people. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, you just message me. Mm <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, that that's it's interesting, but it's not really the context of the stream. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Asai? Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, this is them basically saying these ones don't fit our strategy. Uh, I know many are wondering about films like Black Canary and Blue Beetle. None of that's being discussed. Um, they have a ten-year plan for DC going forward. This is gonna make sense in a minute here. Um, so. Zaslav teases a 10-year plan for DC going forward. Not going to release any film that isn't ready or won't make them the success they're expecting. Uh, Black Adam, Shazam, and The Flash are among titles that are still coming. <laughs> uh, expensive direct streaming films. They can't find well, they can't find an economic value for that. Zaslav says. Um, let's see. Doing okay. What about you? I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm. We're only doing like a super quick stream. Uh, I'm also kind of high, so the stream may be a little more scuffed than usual. But uh, real quick, let's go to where I was going next. So after this event, uh, news kind of started breaking everywhere um, that Batgirl, which was uh, essentially a film planned, I think, for middle of next year wait flash hasn't been canceled even after ezra oh yeah yeah oh we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> um so yeah they've already put 90 million dollars into batgirl which you know typically if, if you're um you know if, if you're you know, m making films you want to end up putting out something you put 90 million dollars into also they did confirm peacemaker season two is staying uh, that's the thing um, which I was really excited for this actually for a few different reasons. One, we were getting J.K. Simmons back as Gordon, where you know what I'm gonna be honest here. I actually thought he could have been a really good Commissioner Gordon. That's just me. Uh, you also had, uh, as they say here, Brendan Fraser as fucking Firefly, and Michael Keaton as Batman. You 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 literally had everything I'd want for a film like this yeah i mean again there are things i don't really like i don't really care about a bad girl film personally but these ideas are kind of interesting um they they wanted to shelve it it was being developed for hbo max but you want these kind of big temple films on these platforms because yeah people people are interested in this shit um now, what they said here uh, it seems to have failed to please audiences in first test screenings, potentially leading Warner Brother Discovery decision to shelve the project to prevent it from becoming a huge flop. Um, they said it looked unfinished, uh, it looked cheap in comparison, basically lost media at this point. Yeah, I mean, it, it pretty much is. Like, they were in post production. And honestly, you know, if you've ever, if you've ever been to a test screening, I've been to a couple, um, sometimes they will say, like, hey, you, you know, this is early CGI, or hey, there's some touches we gotta do on this, but this is, you know, put a good eye out, keep, you know, keep the faith, 
watch this, see how it is. But, yeah, they, they, they also can Scoob Holiday Hunt. Have I seen Top Gun 2 yet? I I will admit, I have not. I, I do need to sit down and go see it. I know it's coming to digital, I think, next week or next month, but... Now, let's see if I can pull this up here. Um, okay. I need to work on a fucking keybind since I don't have um, the app version of Stream Deck right now. Uh, okay, so that's not what I was looking for. Here we go. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. Uh, that's pretty good from what I've heard. I've heard so, and it's one of those ones It's like, I need to go and sit down and see it, honestly. I, uh, fuck, okay, here we go. Let's, um, ignore how bright this is, I, I couldn't get it any darker. So much better than the first one, I feel first one's supposed to be like fire planes. Fuck. So, uh, we'll read the headline here, because the headline blew my fucking mind and is kind of why I had to do this stream, and why I wanted to talk about this. Uh, Scoob Holiday Haunt producer reveals score already, well, score being recorded after the film's acting because it's already paid for the stage and the musicians. So, I don't know how to describe that other than literally they've already paid for the fucking stage, they've already paid for everyone to be there, but it's canceled, but they're still going to record it because they've already paid for everything. They've already paid everyone. Um, and, and, uh, so this is the producer here, uh, Tony Cervone, I'm gonna call him Tony Cervone, who directed the first film, is showing right here, so what do you do when the movie is cancelled and you've already paid it for the stage and musicians? You record the damn score. Which, uh, yeah, I'll... Well, recording a score for a film that will not be released is an exact and ordinary practice. Axing a film after the bulk of its production has already been completed, which is the case around Scoob, Holiday Haunt, isn't ordinary either. Uh, last Tuesday, Hollywood was rocked after Warner Brothers Discovery confirmed that Scoob, Holiday Haunt, along with Batgirl, a feature film adaptation of a DC Comics character, would be no longer released, either theatrically or on HBO Max. It's fun watching people burn money. Well, it, for me, I, the thing I just don't get is, like, you know, I, you wouldn't believe how many films get canned and been canceled after films. Oh, oh yeah. But this is like the, the first time I've seen in a while where it's like this fucking big. Like three different things, like at least three different things at once. By the way, we're not even, we're not even finished with the dumb removal of shit. Not even like cancellation, removal of shit. Uh... <laughs> It's true, film's practically finished and turned out beautifully. I'm beyond heartbroken. Um, yeah, like, if you look here, um, you're not going to put out a movie unless we believe in it. Uh, Batgirl set to star Leslie Grace as Barbara Gordon with Bad Boys for Life and Miss Marvel directors. Adil L. Arby and Bilal Fala. I'm awful with names in general. I'm so sorry. That's so bonkers. I, dude, I fucking... I, I am genuinely baffled. Like, the, the Scooby-Doo movie, yeah, like right here, $40 million to make, and the company will reportedly take a tax write-off on the incomplete production. It's like, yeah, you, you literally have... Hey, it's like, how you doing? It's like, you literally have everything here pretty much good to go, and I actually, like, Scoob, it wasn't good. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I liked it, but... God, I mean, at the very least, I would have liked to have seen if they're gonna do with it. You know, it's like you—you you already had the film pretty much ready. These are cover. They are. I, I'm not gonna disagree with that. It's just, God, like, hey, tax write-off. Forget about it. Hey, Gabagoo. Now, um, <laughs> tell you what, we'll. we'll We'll do this, and then if I can find... Nah, I'll, I'll look for the rest of that later. Uh, now, of course, I know what you're wondering. Well, okay, so you've... You got screwed by streaming... Well, no. The streaming service is screwing themselves. This isn't me this time. Thank you very much. Um, so, of course... Uh, <laughs> to make a reference. We have to talk about Ezra. 
I, by the way, I don't know why it's fucking blown out. I need to figure out why. Ah, I'll worry about that later. Uh, the fate of Warner Brothers Flash hangs the balance as actor Ezra Miller continues to make headlines for their controversial behavior and various arrests. An outright shuffling of the film is not off the table, although it would be a last resort. Warner and its new parent company, Warner Brothers Discovery, had hoped to avoid the line of fire because its big budget DC superhero Temple isn't scheduled to hold theaters until June 23rd, 2013, with the pressure is mounting by the day. They got massive debt? That is a, that is a great question. Uh, on Monday, the director was charged with felony burglary, and on Wednesday, a Rolling Stone reported Vermont Child Services Department has been attempting to locate a mother and three children who have allegedly been residing at Miller's Farm in the state. A source of knowledge of the situation says the studio prepares to be, appears to be preparing for three possible scenarios. Uh, first, Warners has received an indication from a 29-year-old Miller, whose mother is accompanying the actor in recent days, will seek professional help after turning home to her farm in Vermont after being away. If that happens, Miller, who goes by they them pronouns, could give an interview explaining some point of their erratic behavior over the past few years. The actor then could do limited press for a flash and movie to open in cinemas as planned. Second, even if Miller doesn't reach out for help, Warner could still release a film. But don't expect Mark to play a prominent role in terms of marketing publicity. Yada, yada, yada. Nor Miller be a flash going forward as role drew cast in future projects. Or the third, the situation if Warner deter or Miller deteriorates further to see Warner killing the movie outright as it could not be reshot with a different actor. Multiple Miller plays multiple characters and is in almost every scene. Scrapping a $200 million film would be an unprecedented move. Look at this goofball. Uh, I still believe the CW is a money laundering scheme, and I've yet to see any evidence proving otherwise. At the very least, it's a cocaine moving scheme. It's something. Uh, so yeah. Um, he, he, here's the thing, and, and I'm, I'm just I'm not gonna read the rest of your article because I mean, what else can I honestly say about? Is it really that fucking hell? Why is it that bright? Hold on. Do I have a filter on this? That's... Okay. I don't know why that's going on like this. When movie comes out the same, please watch it. You gotta, you gotta give me information on that one, because I'm excited. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's close this. Sad state if you have to depend well may have to depend on this crazy Yeah. Same movie it is on a cl Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um now he here is and I'm gonna try to actually put this in dark mode. Is that dark it's dark mode for Instagram, god damn it. You know what? No, that didn't work. Okay, that, that looks better. That looks better. Uh, who's still watching? Hey, hang on. There's actually some decent... Um, there's some decent cape shit still. I'm a little biased. I still kind of like cape shit. Now, this is the interesting thing that baffled the fuck out of me. Because when, when you guys hear this, you gotta, you gotta tell me if I'm the only one who's like, how the fuck? Uh, so... <clears throat> HBO Max quietly removed six Warner Brothers streaming exclusive films. Um, okay, Joker 2 will save us. Lady Gaga will bring back the DC first trust. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so yes, Warner Brothers Discovery has been quietly culling content from HBO Max, including several Warner Brothers films who were exclusively streaming on the service. Uh, in what appears to be an effort to cut costs. Within the past few weeks, at least six Warner Brothers films have been completely removed from HBO Max. Moonshot, a sci-fi rom-com starring Lana Condor and Cole Sprouse. The Artificial Intelligence Dystopia Comedy Superintelligence starring Melissa McCarthy. That is a statement. That is a name. Uh, Robert Zemeckis' 2020 remake of The Witches starring Anne Hathaway, Olivia Spencer, Stanley Tucci, and Chris Rock. Uh, comedy, American Pickle starring Seth Rogen who wakes up after being pickled after 100 years. Uh, Doug Lyman's heist pick, Lockdown of Anne Hathaway and Chitwell Effajor. I'm bad at names. Um, and the drama Charm City Kings from director Angel, uh, Angel Manuel Soto. So, yeah. Hey, yeah, yep. You never told... Uh, I will respond to that in a little bit, gosh. Yes. So, yes. Uh, mind you, you can find... Uh, like, you can get all of these, admittedly, on VOD services. 
they're not necessarily just on HBO Max. Like, I can go buy them on my Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Vudu, etc. But still, that's... You know... And you can even see on here... Um, the comedy reboot... Over reboot of a comedy classic House Party from LeBron James... Oh, LeBron James and Maverick Carter's Spring Hill was previously stated to premiere on July 28th on HBO Max, but was not released at all. Um, also... The series Vinyl, which actually was pretty good, and I'm still sad HBO canceled it. Uh, no longer available on HBO Max, nor our limited series Mr. Flesher, Lena Dunham's Camping. Although Lena Dunham, that's not really too much of a loss. Uh, or a comedy thriller run starring Merritt Weaver and Domino Gleeson. Uh, to be sure, streaming platforms continuously add and remove content. What's unusual is they didn't announce the removal of the six WB streaming services exclusives from HBO Max. They again, as you can see here, are... Um, are we able to rent or purchase through third-party VOD services? Liked that show. I, I, I liked Vinyl too. Vinyl was fucking great. I, I still, I still recommend it to people, which I guess I can't now because it's not on HBO Max. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, Moonshot was pulled from HBO Max only three months after its March thirty-first debut. Now, mind you, again, none of those films up there are necessarily great. Personally, I thought. Like, the best one there may be Locked Down, which it wasn't that great. But it's still the point of the matter that this content, vinyl, it's a, f well, one, the series, well, one, first off, it, it was, I'm talking about a series. Two, also, no, you're wrong, vinyl's pretty good. Uh, do I like animated movies? I do, I do. Um, HBO Max, I only watch for Aqua Teen and old cartoons, I don't pay for it. Off the very least, we're still getting the Aqua Teen film on HBO Max. That's that's positive. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously there's stuff they do bring in and remove. Like you can read here, all eight of the original Harry Potter films are me leaving. Uh, any favorites? Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is still a classic. I consider that animated. Like that's hand animation, but. I mean, fuck, yeah, like, they, they had a campaign trailer here where it showed House Party, it showed Scoob, and it showed Moonshot. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Never gonna ask that one, Wonder Waffles, I'm just... Okay. Um, Roger Rabbit was good. Start watching iZombie. I'm struck you haven't watched iZombie before. Uh, ever watch Cool Ward? Same premise. Make sure you're fuzzy. Lesbian lover. Ah, f <laughs> Um, I think I got a couple more things here. So essentially, let me see if I can find this here. I, I am gonna take um, this part. If I can. Now, the, the next to last thing we're gonna read here, it's from, um, uh, it's from an article from Deadline. We're gonna scroll ahead to a point that I think is actually the most important thing here. Thoughts of a new Chippendale. I have not seen it. I played the Cool World game. Hated it. Okay. What about Euphoria Season 3? Uh, from, from what I can tell, everything, like, HBO is, like, HBO standard, anything on HBO, they aren't going to touch. It's just anything on Max is what they will touch. Um, here we go here. Sydney Sweeney is the only good thing about Euphoria. Why does that name ring a weird bell? I think he's Sweeney Todd, aren't I? Uh, I'm looking up who that is real quick. I see why you like her now. I, I, it makes more sense. Oh she, oh, she was on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, too. Okay, that makes sense. Have I seen anything new? Uh, I, I'm... I'm 
One show I'm not going to mention because I don't want people spoiling a couple things for me. I've been watching Spy Family, or Spy X Family, or Spy Cross Family, or whatever the fuck the title is at this point. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, um, we're gonna we're gonna read starting from this point here. Warner Brothers Discovery boss David Zaslov is rejecting Killar, who is uh, the former um, CEO beforehand. Uh, his killer strategy leaned heavily into building streaming subscriptions for HBO Max. That was punctuated by his Project Popcorn initiative that put the entire 2021 slate, including Dune, Godzilla vs. Kong, King Richard, Matrix 4, day and date in theaters, and on HBO Max when theater attendance was sparse during the pandemic. Even after he was shown the door, Killar continued to call the strategy a win. Many did not agree, particularly after Top Gun Maverick weighted it in gross north of $1.3 billion dollars. It's a decidedly different world from when Killar made the move. Wall Street's no longer impressed by subscriber numbers as much as profits as seen by the well, precipitous decline of Netflix stock value. Sony owns too much. They even bought the right stuff. Smart, you would wear your merch of a stream for your advertisement? Uh, well, there's going to be a new merch drop sometime soon. Don't worry. <clears throat> um, so yeah, a lot of people have said that... Um, the the plan to do um, day and date uh, streaming and theater release was a bad thing, and I'm I'm gonna say this very nicely here. Um, it's the smartest thing that any of them have ever fucking done. I can remain person wearing on shame. Ah, uh, you 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 wish I had it. You wish I had it, don't you, kill dear? <laughs> but yeah, no, they they really. They just set everything on fucking fire. I, I mean, I, I get they probably like buying from Sentai, but obviously not everything available for crazy sales. I feel it. I, I think to wrap this this bit of the stream up, because I am admittedly, we're getting close towards the end here. I didn't have a ton. Honestly, I should have streamed it last night, but I kind of just got in a little late. But... I'm thinking about doing shorter streams more often. That way, I'm trying to suggest they would have hired you as their flagship streamer. I, I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm saying, would have written up a storm and making serious money sack. Of course. Of course. Look, he, you know, I'm going to say this very nicely. The fuck, Discovery? You, you burning down your IP. Oh, Joey, you bitch. Let's see a joke. But no, it's just... I'm just fucking baffled by the fact that... You, you would burn down three films you've already... like. You're not really going to get a good tax write-off on any of those. Favorite t-shirt. No, you never dress better. Uh, new, new merch drop soon. New merch drop soon, fuckers. Uh, anyways, I'm baffled as well. This is nuts. Uh, I will say this. I'm probably going to try to stream on Twitch later this week. Um, probably Friday. Probably Saturday. Um, yeah. How with the old and with the new. I mean... It, it's certainly a way to do that. Certainly a way to burn everything out. You letting Zack Snyder make more movies? No. They've said they have a 10-year plan. But they said that 10 years ago when... Fucking 2013, when Man of Steel happened, and then they burnt that to the ground. So hey, let's start another 10-year plan. That makes more sense. Fuck, like, uh, okay, R one one more thing before I wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, di di diff different people there killed here. Different people there killed here. Let's just make a few orders. Oh boy. Yeah, it's just, you know, they, they had the same thing. Marvel did not have a 10-year plan if they went in because they were like, all right, you know, let's do Iron Man. They did, well, they did both Iron Man and Hulk back to back. Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk, 2008. And then it took them like two years to make Iron Man 2 and then Thor and then Captain America and then Avengers. Like they actually built their time. 
Yeah, it, well, yeah, but I, I mean, well, they 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 started first with two films, like if if both Iron Man and Hulk had like flopped, you would have never seen another one of those films. The problem is if every other fucking company that's tried to do the Marvel this cinematic universe plan is. They don't do what Marvel did. They're just like, all right, let's just set up a whole string of films and this will be successful instantly. It's like, Incredible Hulk was kind of a flop. The first Hulk movie was fucking trash too. Which, hold on, which one do you mean? Do, do you mean do you mean the Ang Lee Hulk or do you mean the Hulk um, with Andrew Norton? Yeah, every Hulk film has kind of been shit. Which is a shame, because you could do a fucking great Hulk film. One of Ed Norton's pretty bad. <laughs> My problem is, the ugly CGI Hulk, the ugly Hulk was... Bruh. Did you did you just say the Ang Lee Hulk was great? Bruh. Fucking hell. That's, honestly, that's mostly what I've been playing. I had the 2003 Hulk game that was mediocre. The best Hulk game... Hands down, for, forever and ever, till the end of time, will be Ultimate Destruction. Ultimate Destruction was really fucking good. Ang Lee Hulk is the most boring thing ever. Yeah, it's... Even Mark Ruffalo is lackluster. He's cooler in movies that aren't about him. Well, you know why they won't do a, a Hulk solo film nowadays, right? It's the same reason why we won't see a Namor solo film. It's because, um... I believe... Mind you, at least what I believe... I'm not 100% certain. I'm not inside of the contracts, what have you. But from what I believe is there's a non-compete contract with Universal for those two characters. Meaning if they try to go to make a solo film, they have to go to... Um, they have to go to Paramount first and say, hey, you know, we're doing this. You guys want to produce it, publish it, you know, what have you. And I think because of that, it's why you'll never see another Hulk film, and you'll never see another Namor film. Hulk game was solid, but it was a clone of Ultimate Destruction. It, it was. It was. Um, currently, the only the only game I can play of Hulk in it, uh, other than like the phone games, has been the Avengers game, and Hulk isn't really great in that. We, we need Ultimate Destruction too. We need Prototype 3. We need both of those. God, I remember fucking Prototype... We're getting seven more Mor Morbius films. No X-Men, no F... Well, no, they're doing F4. Um, finally. That's... Um, Avengers game is mediocre. Marvel Lancer is good. I'll say this, because I've, I've been playing another Infamous. I would love another Infamous. Your dad reviewed Prototype. No, more like your mom did. Ha. Ah. God, I hate myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the Avengers game is okay. I, I've been playing it lately because it's on um, PlayStation Ultra or PlayStation Plus Extra. It's on. It's on the tier that gives you all the games, like Game Pass. Um, and I've been playing Spider Man. Spider Man's kind of fun in it. But that's kind of it. Everyone else. Uh, at least there you go. Bit more color in my palette. I feel it. You may as well be asking Dead Island 2. Okay, one, I actually... <laughs> Hold on here. I can, I can do something. I have a build of that fucking game on my computer. I can kind of show. Um, hang on here. I have five different fucking hard drives. I actually can't remember which one it's on. Hold on. Found it. One second. I can actually show like an early version of this fucking game. Oh, I should have probably done that version. Hold on. You guys want to see an early game? Not caption event window. Um, 
Hold on, it's taking its sweet time. <laughs> I actually don't know how well this will look on screen. Early game. Well, it's not really like an early game. It's more of like um, like an early build of a game, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, fuck. Do I get a... You guys are going to see something interesting. Oh boy. Uh, I wonder if I can do this without crashing everything. Hold on here. That's the wrong end of a cord. Okay. This game was, uh, did only came out? This would be just about over 10 years ago, yeah. Alright, come on. I want, I want to skip. Am I a video game viewer too? I am not. I could though. I could easily do that. So, I got this to look kind of decent on, on the stream here. No COD footage. You see that? Fuck you. People want a sequel? I mean, I, I do kind of want a sequel. Mind you, this is... Uh, hang on here. Play. Oh, is that not gonna work? Oh, thank god. Okay, hang on here. Um... Match... Or... Hold on here. I'm actually trying to remember what the fucking um, command code is for. Uh, fuck, hang on here. Let's see if anybody. Um, hold on here. Okay, that's the fucking. So it's C underscore. There we go. Okay, so now I know what I'm looking for. Um, so PB playground. Okay. <clears throat> when am I showing the insoles? Probably Saturday. Uh, am I playing Callisto Protocol? Definitely. So, there was supposed to be, like, the rumor was it was going to get announced at the THQ Nordic thing, um, God, like a couple weeks ago. Let's see. That's how you spell Misty Myers, though, Gildir. You got it wrong. Shameful. I was really excited for this. It's a shame this honestly has never gonna come out. This version, at least. You can see up there, build 2015. Come on, come on. Uh, so, let's there's an early LA build map. It's more dev than Half-Life 3. No, it just takes forever to fucking load. That's the only negative. It just takes its sweet fucking time to load. Uh, how'd you get your hands on this? You can find it. Dude, it leaked on fucking V. Also, hello, Jadens. How are you doing, you old, old gentleman? Yeah, also, it's taken over my cursor, so. Another game no one's waiting for? There we go. Okay. So, that's not oh, just looking Not cool. yet. Did I switch guns again? There we go. <sighs> so, this is just like a little dev room thing. Dead Island had a good trailer, and that's it. I mean, yeah. 
This has like all the weapons in the game you can fuck around with. Everything that was finished. Is it usually beta reload? It is beta reload. Okay. No ammo? Huh. Gonna need a But you can see here is like Yeah, pretty much. Why is there a lightsaber? Well, I mean, this is like just random shit you can get from the game. Spawn a zombie. Ah! It's item light. There, there is like a lightsaber thing here. It, it's actually easier for me to, to be honest. I was more of a Dead Rising fan. I feel it. It's actually easier for me to have OBS up like this so I can. Going again in five. Come on. There it is. Okay. So, play Selectors 2. Better reload. That wasn't what I wanted to do. You can tell how early this build is, because look at that. Okay, real quick, we're going to uh, open. See, what did I say it was? Um, CSFP. Okay. Let's see why it got canned. Well, okay. It got canned because, like... Well, you gotta think. This is a build in 2015. I just realized I didn't show you something about the build that I should have. They had the DLC weapons already er this early into the game built in. They're not great, but they're there. This is... What, what you're seeing here is a game in its early state. Seeing a game in its early state is so... Like, it's so different, comparatively. Like, it, it's its own beast. Um, I have some builds of some games where I'm like... Like, y'all really could have just made an alpha build, basically, yeah. It's like, if, if you had seen, like, the alpha builds of some games, you're like, holy fuck, how did, how did you do this? But you didn't do this here. How did you fuck this up? It's like, come on, guys. Um, let's keep in mind when you're playing alphas and pre-alphas. Exactly. Like, this one coming up here is if you've seen the trailer for. Um, okay, I'm gonna adjust something there. It's is that still showing it? Hey, there we go. That's what you get for having a bag in the fucking way. Was the reason it failed because the studio ran out of money? Ah, uh, no, it, it failed because um, Deep Silver basically they didn't like the direction that they wanted to go with the story of Dead Island Two, and so Deep Silver took it from them and gave it to Sumo Digital because this was uh, done by Jaeger Development, who did um, what is the name of that fucking game? Uh, Spec Ops Line. So the Spec Ops Line devs were the one who did this, and now they did the Cycle, which is a different game. Too shitty for Deep Silver. Uh, that's saying something, yeah. And then now it's being uh, it was taken from Sumo, which I was actually kind of excited. Sumo is one of those ones that's like they're they're gun for hire studio typically, but you know, that's its own thing. If that makes sense. 
So, by, by the way, I don't know why it's not fucking... Dev menu isn't loading right now, so it's going to take... Line isn't really a game, it's more of an arm guard. <laughs> well, okay, but it, it did have some interesting things going on gameplay-wise. I still think the sand feature is fucking great, personally. Oh shit, thank you for the, uh, the dollar, Victor. I just realized I fucking unplugged my controller, like, not even thinking. Again, thank you. Ah. Uh, hmm. Oh. Ah, shit. There we go. Okay. All right. Play straight. Leave us dead game behind. <laughs> oh, and it just crashed. I just had a curl layer. Woo! Thank you, UE4. Okay, well, I guess, um, I, I guess my, my time with Dead Island 2 is as short as the game is, because it still isn't fucking out yet. Um, all right. Well, with that, I'm going to wrap the stream up, folks. Um, yeah, probably, I, I, I might stream Stray. Stray doesn't seem like the kind of game that would be great streaming. Uh, I wish I could easily show my fucking, um... Here's a question. Will it show my Xbox? I'm updating my Xbox. Let's just get into the stream. Oh, hey. You know, at the very least, I could show something about um, about a game. I'm hoping to... As much as I love my PC, my PC is having some issues. Short stream. It was. I, I did kind of say this would be a short topic. I was only going to go into this, and it was looking like a 45-minute stream. But... Um, I'm going to be getting a, uh, I'm sure of stream that art I made. I actually have to relook at that because I can't remember what it is and if it's going to get me banned or not. Mm, now I got to actually find out which one. Oh, was it? Yeah, you know what? Sure. Fuck it. Oh, that is not what I was looking for. Uh, stream window browser. Uh, picture driver who <laughs> plowed into small town community fundraiser in Pennsylvania, killing one person, injuring 17 more before fleeing and bludgeoning his mother to death just minutes later. <laughs> Look, you, you know, that, that, that handsome gentleman over there, he can do whatever he wants, you know? He, he, he's, he's got it. Hell yeah. Folks, I will probably also, uh, I'll probably end up doing a hi, you laugh, you lose uh, Twitch stream sometime soon. I know what you're thinking. Is being a React Andy that, that good of an idea? The answer is, eh, fuck it. Can't, you just cannot keep getting away with it. We're all the used to be played, Mom. I haven't, but... <coughs> Fuck, can you send that to me? I have to see that. See, that is... Yep, if I could get that correct here. There we go. Um, also, well, one thing I guess I'll just talk about, because I'll probably end up streaming it when it comes out. Yo! Fucking new COD Zombies map. Woo! Hell yeah. Anyways, with that, I'm going to wrap the stream up. That is not what I was looking to do. That was the wrong button. That is the right button. Um, folks, again, thank you for showing up. Um, I should have probably done this on Monday when I got home, honestly. Shit happened. But I, I there will be more stream announcements. Just keep an eye out. I'm also not fully finished that edited video yet, but it's... Somewhere around there. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, with that, folks, I'm going to quickly, if I can, uh, I had, uh, keyword there is had a song pulled up, but 
Uh, tell you what, we will just go here. Hmm. I was gonna do. Uh, t tell you what, we'll, we'll we'll play some South Park music at the end. Fuck it. Hang on here. Yeah, yeah. Good night, everybody. 